affidavit? Here are a few simple steps. Today, we will learn about affidavits, parts of affidavits and how to draft one. Let's begin. First, we will understand what an affidavit is. The affidavit is a written statement sworn before a person having authority to administer an oath. In India, an affidavit can be sworn or affirmed before any judge or any judicial or executive magistrate, any commissioner of oaths appointed by a high court or court of sessions, any notary appointed under the Notaries Act, 1952. Affidavits can be useful in many situations. Many government forms include affidavits such as driver's license applications, vehicle registrations, voter registrations, etc. What are the parts of an affidavit? Let's discuss. The basic form for an affidavit has four parts. 1. A statement that the person is swearing under oath to the truthfulness of the information contained in the document. 2. The entire information that the person wants to say. 3. The signature of the person making the affidavit. 4. The attestation of a notary public or other official authorized to administer oaths. How to draft an affidavit? Affidavits should be drawn in the first person, and the matter of the affidavit should be divided into paragraphs which are numbered consecutively. Each of the paragraphs in an affidavit should ideally be confined to a portion of the subject. Start with a heading. The heading may be made of a like name change affidavit or it may simply say, Affidavit of Shri or SMT, your name. In case affidavits filed in court, it should include the name of the honorable court where your case is being heard, the case number, and the names of the plaintiffs and defendants. The first section it should mention the full name, father's name, religion, age, profession, Aadhaar number, occupation and residential address of the person on whose behalf an affidavit is filed. The second section explain in simple words as to why this affidavit is made. Each paragraph should be numbered and usually each contains only one fact. To ensure that the affidavit is easily understood, use simple language and make short sentences. Lastly, you will need to include the signature lines and notary section. Keep in mind that by signing the affidavit, you are swearing that the facts in the document are true and correct. For any change in the affidavit in case of changes or alterations to an affidavit, changes should be authenticated by the initials of the officer before whom the affidavit was taken. Making any statement that is not true in an affidavit is technically a violation of the law and you can be fined or even imprisoned for committing perjury, Section 34 OCRPC. So while making an affidavit be very cautious. Make sure your thoughts are organized and in the proper order if you are relating your actions in an event. Do not use inflammatory language. Just state the plain and simple facts in simple language. Please like our video, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.